and gentlemen, Riddhi Mehra. Swati Vijay Vagriki and we have Vinitan Rahul. Uh, we would like to talk to each of you, talk about your collections, your inspiration, and of course, Eliana, you can talk about walking the ramp for one second. I'll start with Vinit Rahul. Yeah. Hi, this is Vinit, and uh, the collection today that we showcased was inspired from the goddess Lakshmi. It's the night when she descends on earth and how the new aged woman would dress, get dressed up into the new avatar of modernity and feminism together. So the collection exactly portrays the sense of globalization, modernity, and style that a person today would like to get dressed in. Hi, this is Riddhi, and um, we showcased our collection called Arcadia today. Arcadia is a place which, is, uh, which was in ancient Greece and it has a lot to do with nature and harmony and that's where we've taken our inspiration from that we have used a lot of uh, uh, how we usually do our florals and it's all inspired from nature and uh, we've also taken up inspirations from mosaic we've done mosaic prints and we've taken fountains as a part of uh, as a motif in our collection which uh, has been inspired from a beautiful garden so we this has primarily been our inspiration and even the lehenga that Ileana wore has the same inspiration so i guess what you can take her out once she gets up no i'm taking it <laughs> Supposing this is working. This is Eliana. Perfect. Uh, so yes, uh, like uh, like Riddhi said, it's 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 called Arcadia, which is very unusual. I've never heard of this this word before. But she told me that it's it's a city and it's a province in ancient Greece. And the first thing I told Riddhi was uh, my Greek connection sort of continues. You know, my name's Greek and. Uh, well, lots of other things, but still, uh, what I have to say is yes, I have walked the ramp before, and the feeling's always the same. It's it's nerve wracking, and uh, it's it's an honor as well to walk for a designer because you know she's choosing me to showcase one of her most important pieces in her collection. So I'm very nervous, and I pray that I don't fall and mess it up for her. And hopefully, I did well for you, Riddhi. Um, <laughs> 
but it's a beautiful outfit. I think it's it's absolutely regal and uh, and simple, and that's very much my style as well. You know, very simplistic but very classy and elegant and regal. And I think she's done an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, this is Fatih. Uh, my this season's collection was inspired by Pichwais of Rajasthan, like basically the Nadwara paintings. And uh, uh, so in the Nadwara paintings, they are like painted season-wise. So I was inspired by the paintings which are, which are like uh, painted in autumn, winter. And so basically they have black backgrounds and then they have uh, like colorful, uh, people wearing colorful clothes. And basically it's about Ras, you know, Krishanji and his gopis. So that inspiration was that. So what we've done is, uh, but we wanted to do more contemporary Indian look. So we've taken the inspiration from there, used a lot of floral patterns, geometric patterns, a lot of borders and everything, and uh, like you tried to, uh, to t uh, like you know create those patterns using shiboris and applique and a lot of embroideries, hand embroideries. I've used a lot of maroris and then tried to create a more contemporary Indian collection. So yeah, that's it. If I get to steal this from Riddhi, then yes. <laughs> so I, I think there's something, uh, I don't know if I have a cape, honestly, but uh, it's, quite, it's quite amazing how designers have got that into, into their collections and made it, you know, because my, my idea of a cape is, you know, vampire or, or like a Superman or Supergirl or something, but it's, it's nice that you get to feel that. I feel, I feel very royal if I wear something like this. And, very important, so I'd love to have something like this, and I think everyone should, you know, you want to feel really um, important and like a VIP and like a superstar on some days. Yeah. I don't know, um, I think it's very hard to take one word and say that this defines me. Uh, there's a lot when it comes to me, so when I think of a word, I would say enigma because there's so much, you know, uh, under that. But I think um, maybe sometimes I like to dazzle and shine, and there's different facets to my personality. So yeah, today maybe I'm a little razzle dazzle. Uh, Riddhi, can you just explain us the outfit that she is wearing, and why did you choose as a, uh, as a showstopper? So, um, <laughs> so Ileana has the perfect Indian body. And uh, that's why we chose this silhouette for her, you know, because she has a tiny waist. And of course, we do a lot of uh, lehengas and we do, we do Indian wear. So we thought this would be the best for her. Why I've added a cape is because I wanted to give it a modern twist. And uh, yes, that's exactly our purpose of taking this silhouette. And uh, the kind of preparations that you used? Uh, it, it's a part of the c collection, you know. I mean, there's not something specific as to why we've used it on this lehenga, but I mean, it just, it works, it works yeah. <laughs> also, can you throw some light on the textures uh, that you've uh, used and fabric as well? We've used uh, a lot of uh, crepes, we've used uh, georgettes, nets, silks we've used this time a lot. We've uh, used a lot of uh, printed silks and we've developed the prints ourselves. And uh, we've taken inspiration from mosaic prints and we've highlighted those in the collection. Uh, I've used a lot of silks, handmade silks. I've used munga silks. I've used organza. I've used tinderi. So there's a mix of fabrics. I've used, used satin linen. I mean, these are some new fabrics. Like, normally I work with a lot of tinderis and silks. This time I've used uh, linen satins. I've used munga silks. So, you know, like more variations in fabric that way, yeah. Can you talk us through the embroidery as well? Yeah, so the embroidery which I've used is, uh, we've used real zari marori work. It is like hand twisted zari yarns and you create dori out of it and then you do the hand embroidery. So that's what we've used. Uh, so what we've done is in the garments, we've applied the garments first, then we've done marori work on them and then we've, uh, we've uh, combined them with shiboris. Like I specialize in shibori. So it's like that's what, so all the prints you see in my collection are shibori, uh, shiboris. So yeah, that's what we've done. We've used a lot of hand-woven raw silks from Bhagalpur, and we have also taken care of the chanderi cluster also. We've done a lot of hand-woven chanderis. And as I said, that our inspiration is a time when the goddess Lakshmi is descending, and we've taken it to a modern and a very globalized level. 
So we've done a very international silhouettes. We've done a kimono coat. We've done trench coats out of the raw silks, which are done in India. In India. And we've also done blazer suits, complete modern edge, complete globalized edge to what we have in India, so that we also have something that we need to present to the outside world as well. And the embroideries that we've done, we've done hand French knots, we've done zardozi, we've done a very new twist to zardozi. Then we have applique. We've catered almost everything in the embroidery sector.